Well, Bennett Kessler filed this following report. School superintendents in Bishop and Mammoth and the Mammoth Police Chief quickly responded to the terrible shootings of young children in the Sandy Hook School in Newtown, Connecticut. They offer reassurances on diligent security measures and on vigilance for troubled youth in our towns. On Saturday, Mammoth School Superintendent Rich Baccia and Police Chief Dan Watson issued a joint news release asking, as we all have, what pushed the individual to the edge to, quote, take such violent action on innocent people, end quote. Bishop School Superintendent Barry Simpson wrote a letter that will go out to all parents. He says how impossible it is to express the sadness and explain how it could have happened. Simpson said, quote, our best hope is to use this horrific event as a strong reminder that our mission as educators begins and ends with student safety, end quote. Simpson said he and the staff are committed to the, quote, development, review, and practice of our emergency response procedures and protocols, end quote. For Bishop Schools, Simpson says staff reworked and updated the school emergency response plans in the past year and carried out a very detailed emergency drill in October at each school site. He said the recent tragedy has reminded about our, quote, lockdown procedures and additional emergency drills that will be planned and carried out in the coming months, end quote. Now, in Mammoth Lakes, Superintendent Baccia and Chief Watson said the events at Sandy Hook, quote, tell us that we all must remain vigilant for the signs of any troubled youth that live in our community. Baccia says teachers, administrators, and school staff pride themselves on building strong working relationships with the students. They said when there are signs of distress in a student's life, quote, we have a number of steps that we can take to provide additional support to that student and their family, end quote. Now, Superintendent Simpson said Bishop schools have procedures to deal with troubled kids. He said threat assessments are done and passed on to mental health and law enforcement. They also talked to parents. Simpson said there is a student study team of parents, teachers, administrators, and counselors that address obvious problems and may refer to mental health. Now, Simpson also revealed that on January 15th, a meeting will take place that includes law enforcement, school personnel, fire, and mental health to discuss countywide emergency response procedures and preparedness. Simpson said, quote, we know that any effort to do harm to our schools and communities can be reduced by the decisive actions of alert and prepared individuals, end quote. In Mammoth Lakes, officials said principals, police, and mental health services will, quote, continue to discuss the events that occurred and be prepared to offer counseling services to our students and their families. Mammoth law enforcement and schools will also revisit their school security and response plans. You can go to our website, sierrawave.net, to read the letters from officials in both Bishop and Mammoth. Well, we know there are thousands of visitors in the Eastern Sierra for the holiday weekend, and the Mammoth Lakes Police Department would like to remind everybody, residents, visitors, business owners, that parking is prohibited on town streets between November 1st through April 30th. Obstructing snow removal equipment is also prohibited. Now, the Mammoth Lakes Police Department only enforces these sections when it is snowing or after a snow, snowstorm while snow removal equipment is in operation. Motorists should be aware of weather forecasts and make sure their vehicles are off the street when snow removal equipment is operating or may be operating. Any accumulation of snow means plows will be out and the snow removal is not complete until the snow blowers have removed the berms created by the plows. Now vehicles should always be parked behind the snow stakes. Operating snow removal equipment is complicated and when there are heavy accumulations of snow, vehicles parked partially on the side street of the stakes cannot always be observed. A passenger vehicle struck by snow removal equipment can receive substantial damage and if the vehicle is parked on the street side of the stakes, the accident is the fault of the driver of the illegally parked vehicle. Press release goes on to state that you are asked to please help the town of Mammoth Lakes in its snow removal operations by parking legally during winter months.
Well, Bennett Kessler filed this story. The now famous advertising line about cell service, can you hear me now, has never had any meeting in the community of Crowley Lake because there has never been any cell service there. Now, that could change any day now. A company called Distant Towers did go through Mono County Planning and managed to get a lease from the LADWP to build a cell tower and base next to Crowley. Now, Robert McLaughlin of that company said he has nothing to do with the cell service itself. Verizon will handle that part. He said the tower does have electricity and an antenna and should be on the air any day. Now, Heidi Flato of Verizon Public Relations told Sierra Wave Media that cell phone service for Crowley will go on the air as soon as, quote, the landline provider installs the backhow connection this week, end quote. She said that while this should happen soon, there is no specific date right now. Now, Flato said the cell sites need to connect to Verizon's mobile switching center in order to complete voice and data transfer. She said Verizon Wireless worked with various landline providers to handle the interconnection. Flato said there have been some delays on the landline side, and she invited Sierra Wave Media to check back before January 1st for an update. Well, Mammoth Hospital has added a cancer ward. Cleland Hopp was at the ribbon cutting for Sierra Wave Media. Well, we, uh, uh, we've had this chemotherapy infusion program here for a long time, and uh, we've been doing the work, but we've been doing it in, uh, in a kind of catch-as-catch-can way in terms of whatever space we could find. And we were getting the job done, but uh, space really has a lot to do with how people feel about their treatment and how people feel about their treatment and their life has a lot to do with healing. So uh, we had uh, uh, our nurse, Bar Barbara Goodwill, identified this organization called Rooms That Rock for Chemo. And uh, through that organization, we got in touch with an interior designer who has put together an incredible renovation and design project here in our chemotherapy infusion suite. Um, so we're really excited to have it. So our um, uh, program here is really a lot more than just chemotherapy infusion services. Uh, Barbara Goodwill is a trained uh, oncology nurse navigator, uh, and she and I work together to make sure that uh, people who are getting their cancer care uh, have all of their care coordinated and that they don't uh, have things fall through the cracks and that they can have as much of their care delivered here close to home as possible. Well, we had some uh, money allocated. We, before we had a, this room was um, an x-ray room and so we needed to remodel it for the chemotherapy patients. So we um, got a hold of Rooms That Rock for Chemo, a voluntary group, um, last February. They worked out, got us a designer, hooked up with the designer and remodeled our room, rocked our chemo room. And this is kind of like your room. What is your role here? I actually administer the chemotherapy. Um, see the patients here do their teaching, their chemotherapy, uh, lab draws, stuff like that. So what do you think of your uh, new area? Um, just, there's no words to describe it. I'm beyond happy. Just, it's uh, very emotional because it's, it's, it's for my patients and I'm so happy. They deserve it. Well, we thank Cleland Hoff for that and congratulate Mammoth Hospital on its new addition. Well, coming up this Saturday, it is a great holiday celebration. It's the Mammoth Mountain Night of Lights. Well, there sure is a great time to be had out there. Just an absolutely gorgeous celebration, as you can see by this video from a previous celebration. Now, we are getting some information from Mammoth Mountain on its Night of Lights fireworks extravaganza. That will begin at 5 p.m. on Saturday, and that will be taking place at Canyon Lodge. Now, parking will be limited. Guests are encouraged to utilize the park and ride locations, and those will be at both Eagle Lodge as well as at Mammoth High School, and that will get you to the Mammoth Mountain Night of Lights fireworks extravaganza. Now, the free shuttle service will run from 4 p.m. until 10 p.m., and also the Village Gondola will be running until 10 p.m. and taking guests to the show free of charge. So, again, it's this Saturday starting at 5 p.m., but the shuttles will start at 4 p.m. It's Mammoth Mountain's Night of Lights fireworks extravaganza, and, again, you can use the park and ride locations at Eagle Lodge and at Mammoth High School. And again, this is free of charge and we know 
a lot of folks will be enjoying that great and colorful celebration this Saturday at Mammoth Mountain. You can get more information by checking out their website, mammothmountain.com.